Lauren Esposito, uh, who is in charge of this beautiful building um, and all of its programs, uh, and was tasked with basically putting this whole thing together. So, um, and she's done a great job. And uh. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, thanks for coming, seeing the space. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. It's our first. I would say big in-person education presentation, so I'm really excited. Um, so what I wanna talk to you about today, some of you in the audience are members here, so I'm so glad that I see your faces, um, but really the vision before we opened our doors, so you can kinda get an idea of what our, our core values are. If I could work a clicker. There we go. Um, so Dr. Patel actually teed this one up perfectly. This is one of my favorite quotes. Um, if exercise could be packaged into a pill, it would be the single most widely prescribed and beneficial medicine in the nation. Um, and we believe that here, and not only here, but all of the physicians and nurse practitioners that we work with also kind of hold this true in their practice and are always recommending exercise in various capacities. Um, to our patients here at Ohio Health. So I'm very fortunate to work with a team who truly believes in this as much as I do. So there's two different definitions of wellness um, that I like to refer to. So the quality or state of being healthy in body and mind, especially as a, part, as a result of a deliberate effort. So I think that's really important. Um, it doesn't just happen. You have to put some effort into it. You have to go out um, and engage in resources that are in the community, tap into resources such as your therapist in the clinic, um, and really stick to it, right? Exercise and wellness can be hard. Um, but when we look at the role of wellness here at Ohio Health and our neuroscience service line, I like to think of it as an approach to healthcare that emphasizes preventing illness, prolonging life, and not just opposed to treatment of the disease itself. So we're looking at the whole person, so that quality of life that we talked about. So this is kind of previous care model and some that I ran into at the early um, part of my career as a physical therapist. And as a physical therapist, I would really be in the, the rehab bucket, right? So a, a patient was referred to me. They came to me for treatment. I was encouraging, hey, join this program, join your local YMCA, um, exercise at home, here's your home exercise program, so that wellness piece. But then once they were in wellness, there wasn't really a great pathway back to me or a pathway from wellness back to the provider or back to the therapist to say this is what's going on. So the vision is really to disrupt this cycle keeping our um, consumers as healthy as possible, making sure we have connectivity in case there's a change in status, and that integrated vision of care. So what that really looks like is putting still the patient at the center of everything, because obviously you drive your treatment. Um, so you'll see a lot of back and forth arrows versus single-sided arrows in this model. So looking at how, do, how does wellness interact with our medical team, how does wellness interact with rehab, and how um, do they interact back to us? So we do that through a lot of different methods in terms of creating streamlined referrals, creating documentation in the medical record so providers can look back at if a patient finished a program or if something's going on, I can reach out to um, the provider and say, hey, this is happening at the center, they're coming in for a visit, or back to the rehab team. And then the rehab team, what's really nice is we have a program called Rehab to Wellness, where they can do one or two of their therapy sessions here at the center as a transition into community wellness to make sure that we're addressing any barriers, physical barriers, emotional barriers of that transition. Because sometimes jumping from rehab into a community-based program can be a little frightening. Um, so we try and put all of these different elements back into place. Um, to ease that transition. So the proposal was to create an entire facility dedicated to neuroscience wellness, which you are sitting in, so the proposal was successful, um, and then use this center as a hub or an incubator for program development. Um, so what we hope to happen over the next few years as we develop more programs is to bring those programs out into the community because we know that not everyone can come here um, every day to participate in our programs. So we do that through partnerships with the YMCA, um, 
you're actually going to hear from someone here in the back who um, has gone through delay of the disease training, runs a fantastic program out in the Dublin area. So it's not about just what we do here, but how do we engage with resources in our community to deliver that type of service close to home? Um, we look at peer-to-peer -peer support as really um, one of our pillars, and we also take that a little bit step farther here as uh, care partner support. So we're gonna talk just briefly about the programming. So we have our Delay the Disease program. It's a wellness program for people with Parkinson's and also their care partners. It's an evidence-based community group exercise program that empowers our patients to take control of their disease and provides hope. We partner with many of the medical team to provide lectures as part of our 12-week program. And then ongoing, this class is anywhere from two to four times a week, depending on your level. So when we're talking about what's the recipe for success in our Parkinson's-based program is cardio brain core. So we're looking at intensity, specificity, so practicing what you want to improve. We talk a lot about getting in and out of a um, chair, getting on and off the floor, daily activities, and how do you kind of put that into your exercise program. Um, and then practice it at home. Ongoing, so we really believe that daily exercise is best. It doesn't have to be Parkinson's specific exercise daily though, I think that's really important. I always wanna know like what, what keeps you engaged. We know that dance is really beneficial, we know that yoga is beneficial, we know that cardio-based activity is important, but what are you gonna stick to? Because if you don't like what you're doing, you're never gonna stick to it six months from today or a year from today. So what really makes you um, excited about coming in? and then complexity. So specifically, if you're talking about um, motor and cognitive dual tasking, so we have classes like brain games, we have classes like ultimate balance, where you really t layer all these different challenges into one program. So specifically for our Delay the Disease Wellness Program, um, for the first time ever, we ran two programs back to back. We did a basic and an advanced at the same, t at the same time, which was really exciting. We were allowed to help a lot of people. Um, this is a 12-week program that meets twice a week, and then there's education weekly with pre and post testing. I always recommend, um, based on functional level, obviously, this is a great starting point because you get a lot of the education as you're going through the program before you transition to our ongoing classes. Doesn't have to be, um, but it really helps with that consistency because it's the same group twice a week for 12 weeks and you really, I would say you develop a stronger relationship with your peers in that class than just our drop-in classes week over week. And I'm telling you, if you don't show up to a class, they're asking about you. <laughs> so they'll call you, they'll, They'll try and get your number for me, which I won't give out, <laughs> but they wanna know where you are. So quickly on the building design, just so you get a little overview of kind of how this goes into practice here. So this is the outside of the building. It's really beautiful. It's kind of dreary today, so you didn't really get a good feel, but when it's all lit up and the sun's shining, it's beautiful. So right now you're sitting in the pink area, so our education suites. Half of our building is the Gerlach Center for Senior Health and Cognitive Neurology. That's not the part of the building that I oversee. Um, but what you'll notice is everything in green is our exercise space. And those are all exterior um, areas to the building. And if you go back to that picture, let me see if it, all of our exercise spaces have huge windows and everywhere in the building, you get a view of the outdoors. I think it's so important to bring nature into the building for that holistic approach um, and that wellness feel. Um, but we have cardio studios, exercise spaces, and then op an open gym for independent exercise here as well. So let's talk about membership. So membership is open to any individual living with a neurologic condition, but also open to their care partners. So this is something I was really passionate about and everyone on our work team was really passionate about, that we truly believe that if we're going to take 
care of somebody with a neurologic condition, we also have to support the people in their life that are helping them navigate through this potentially new journey. Um, and we wanna make it as inclusive as possible. So care partners can exercise right alongside their loved one. They can take classes independently at the facility. Um, it's, it's really the same exact membership. It's just kind of tied together. Um, membership is not required if you're a guest attending educational classes or if a care partner has to offer physical assistance to their loved one in class. That's just a personal assistant and there's no charge for that. Just so you know the rates, it's $55 a month for a non-senior, $49 a month for a senior, and $37 a month for a care partner. Um, that does include all of the programs that we offer, including the wellness, class and the wellness program. We also do offer financial assistance for those who cannot afford um, the membership rates, and that's something that you know um, we're very fortunate um, to have here working at Ohio Health. So when we're looking at Parkinson-specific classes, I mentioned the Delay the Disease Wellness Program. Since creating these slides, we did have that basic and that advanced level of the program, so I was really excited we could roll that out. We have our basic fitness class for Delay the Disease that's offered twice a week, and then we have an advanced um, Parkinson-specific class twice a week. Hopefully in June, we'll be rolling out a, um, an evening version more, um, geared to younger onset Parkinson's disease. I'm really excited for that opportunity. And then general fitness. So I said it doesn't have to be Parkinson's specific every single day of the week, right? So we have a whole host of other types of exercise classes that are really important and they offer a lot of, yes? Question online, are there Zoom classes available with this? There are Zoom classes available. We have two delayed the disease specific um, virtual fitness classes right now and that will be growing. We have a uh, platform called My Wellness that I'm working on the technology solution for that. And that will, I would say, look for July-ish for there to be a lot more um, virtual live classes. And we have a whole library of recorded classes as well. Great question. Um, and then mind and body programs. So we offer, um, all the way from a chair to an advanced yoga program. We have Matt and Chair Pilates, and we just added um, last month a, a program called Yochi, which is a, a blend of yoga and Tai Chi to our mix, and that's offered on Fridays. This is just a little snapshot of what we offer on a weekly basis. Um, so you'll see the light blue is the Parkinson's specific classes. And then everything that's white, not color coded, are all the general fitness classes. And I, there's even more. Um, it, on the, the May calendar, which is not on here. So there's a lot that's available for participation here with that membership rate. If you're interested in learning more about our membership or signing up for a tour, just letting you know you can go to our website and fill out a form and we'll reach out to you. As part of particip participation in today's event, you do get a discount on your enrollment fee if you're interested. Um, and thank you for letting me steal a little bit of your time.